Hello and welcome back to our channel Ayaz Tech. Today we are going to dive into the world of Angular and I am going to show you how to select all checkboxes with the master checkbox in Angular application. This is a common functionality you will find in applications where you need to perform operations on multiple items at once. So let's get started. I will assume that you already have set up your Angular application. If not, then please check our previous videos where we already have created an application and we have shown you how to do that. So I already have generated my Angular project by using engine new and I'm using Angular version 16 as you can see here. And now I will run my application in the browser type ng serve minus O. All right, my application is running in the browser. Now we can start working in the app component. I will remove the code from HTML file and I will create it from scratch. I will put hello world just to see. All right, here I will have a master checkbox. So we must have to import the forms module in our module where the app component is declared. So here I will add forms module. Make sure to import it from angular slash forms. And now I will add ng model here and we will bind it with the property called master or maybe select all and then i will capture the change event and we will name that function toggle select all now i will create this property here in my typescript class so first of all i need to create the select all property and by default it will have the false value and then i will have another function toggle select all and after that we need to have checkboxes so for that i will create a div and here i will add ng4 let item of checkboxes and in it i will add multiple checkboxes i will copy paste it just to make it fast checkboxes will be checkboxes will be an array of objects and every object will have the property selected so we will bind the ng model of this input with the item dot selected and here i will call a function checkbox changed and now i will get the label of checkbox with the help of item dot name now we will define this property and this missing function in our typescript class so in the checkboxes i will define an array of objects title one and selected false okay i will copy paste it to have multiple checkboxes all right now we will define the checkbox changed function All right, you can see we have select all and all other checkboxes. So now if user clicks on select all, then we should select and unselect the checkboxes. For that, we will write our logic in the toggle select all function. Here I will check if this dot select all true, then that's mean we want to set it false so that's when we want to uncheck all of the checkboxes so i will use this dot check boxes dot for each c dot selected is equal to false so this will set the value of selected to false for every checkbox and in the else case we will do the reverse thing so instead of setting it false so we'll set it to true let's try it so we will use the opposite condition so if it is selected all is false then set it to false now you can see it is working perfectly fine we can also uh, sh make our logic short so instead of having these two repeated lines i will copy it here and i will get rid of this second line and here instead of setting false hard codedly i will just revert the current value of this so let's try if that works so i will just remove this and hopefully this will work you can see 
now we can do the same thing with the single line of code so that is better now we need to check if you are selecting one by one and once you select all of them it should immediately select all uh, it should select the checkbox for the select all so for that we have to check so we know that every time we make change in the checkbox manually then this function would be triggered so we will check i will create another function is all check boxes selected and here i will return this dot check boxes dot every and c c dot selected so this will make sure that all of the check boxes are selected and if that's true then it will return the boolean value and now we can check that if this dot all check boxes are selected then set the this dot select all to true okay otherwise we can set it false and we will use else block for that purpose now let's see if that works select 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 and when you select the last element it will automatically select the select all checkbox for you and if you unselect one of those it will automatically unselect the master checkbox now i will show you how to get the value of these checkboxes it is very easily you can do that so you can have a submit button or you don't you can just add a submit button button submit and uh, on clicking on this button you can simply call a function submit and this submit function will get the selected checkboxes and it will display them somewhere or it may send to the backend server or wherever you want to use it so first of all we need to get the selected checkboxes i will create another function get selected checkboxes and it will give me this dot checkboxes dot filter and it will give us only those checkboxes which are selected true and return this value now we can simply use it to get the selected checkboxes let selected checkboxes equal to this dot selected checkboxes now we can console it and let's see if that works open the console and if you select one uh, i did not save the html yet let me save it now you can see the submit button if you select the one checkbox you will see an array in the console you can expand it and see there is only one checkbox if you select three of them hit the submit button you will see three elements in the console if you select all of them then you will see all of the elements in the console now you have the data you can easily consume it to send it to the service or to the back end or you can display it on the ui wherever you want to use it one last thing that is being used in real life so that is you want to show the selected items so you can say that ng container and i will add an if condition ng if if selected checkboxes dot length is greater than zero then we want to display this section and here i will say that so whenever you select something it will display this text and i will also add a line break so you can see it is saying that six items are selected and if you select only only few of them you will see the counter it will grow and it will be invisible once you unselect all of the checkboxes and there you have it when you select the master checkbox all the checkboxes get selected and when you unselected all the checkboxes get deselect also if all checkboxes are selected individually the master checkbox gets selected automatically and if any checkbox gets deselect the master checkbox gets deselected too this functionality can really useful in situations like where a user has to delete multiple items at once or select multiple items to perform a certain operation i hope that this video was useful for you please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more coding tutorials thanks for watching